Welcome to another stretch with Dave. I, of course, am Dave. Today we're just going through a real quick stretch. I'm going to promise to make it real quick. We're going to start with a door frame stretch. So you need a wall or a door frame. I'm going to use this today to show you. So my arm is stretched out just below shoulder height. And then I turn my body through my hips and my shoulders, create a stretch in my chest. You know, we've done this stretch a million times and for good reason. We're doing more static stretches today. Um, and I know I usually go with dynamic stretches, a little bit more movement because we are so rigid. But that doesn't mean that static stretches are inherently bad and don't have their uses. So we'll want to be sure we add them in you know, time after time, and we'll switch sides. It's going to be real quick today. So if you want a little bit more, what I suggest is just playing the video again or trying another stretch video after this one. Feel a stretch in your chest, your shoulders. Allow yourself to take a few deep breaths as we go through today's video. All right, we're going to go to our wall bicep stretch. So same, uh, same place. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get my middle fingers pointed down and my palm on the wall with my arm at shoulder height and arm straight. That's the big thing. That's where you'll feel the stretch. If you can't get your fingers pointed down, just point them out slightly, that's okay. But the biggest thing is get that palm on the wall, arm straight. That's where you'll feel the stretch of the bicep. The more you can get that finger down, the more it will intensify the stretch of the forearm. As well as the bicep, right? Like it doesn't take away, it just adds. And we'll switch sides. So this is a great stretch to do the next day or after you do our current workout of the week challenge at our gym. So it's how many bicep curls can you do with 30 pounds. So on each road you can do it with a preloaded bar uh, barbell, a paddle work, you can do it with some 15 pound dumbbells or a loaded easy curl bar or something. All right, and now we're going to go to our wall angles. So I'm going to show you on this one because I just think it has a better angle. My back, head, butt, all up against the wall, elbows up against the wall too, and a hand as well. And then we're just going to slide up and down the wall, trying to keep everything in, in the wall, contact with the wall the whole time. If it slides off, that's okay. You don't have to force it on. The biggest thing that I would change to make it easier is I would get my butt off the wall first. Just doing a couple of these. One more. All right, so our side lean, we're going to make it a little bit more static today. So I'm going to take an exaggerated step to the right. Make sure I'm not in front of the mirror, so window actually. Exaggerated step to the right. Lean to the right. Left arm comes up, and I'm just going to hold this position. You can support yourself on your right leg if you want. You can create a little bit of a bridge there with your arm. I guess the better word would be tress. We're just going to hold. But again, you can move through these. If you want to move through them instead, go ahead and move through them. We're going to switch sides. We're going to do this one twice on each side, just because I find it difficult to hold for a long period of time. And I'm probably not alone there. First side, holding it slightly less, slightly shorter amount of time. Okay, 
keep that try to lean into it, keep that chair leg straight. I was slacking a little bit there. And we'll switch sides. Chair leg straight. Lean into that lead leg. We're going to go into our forward fold. I'm going to push my hips back. And you can hang for this one if you want. I've always found it a little bit more comfortable for myself to hold on to my calves. Take a few deep breaths and you might be able to sink in. And if at any point you just want to stand up, take a little bit of a break, you know, maybe extend a little bit and go back into it, feel free. Nobody's policing this video. You have to make it your own. Do what's best for you. And we'll stand up one more time. Awesome. And do our standing hip. So I want to make this one a little easier today for people. And what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands on our hips this time. We're going to take an exaggerated step forward with our right foot, and then we're going to push those hips forward. So instead of arms up, which is what we normally do, we're just going to push those hips forward. So again, I'll demonstrate it. You can continue holding. I step forward with my right. I push my hips forward. Nice, tall, neutral spine. And then I just feel that stretch in that trail leg. And if I want a deeper stretch, I just take a larger step forward. I just want to kick back. Got to step forward with my left foot this time. Hands on my hips. Push the hips forward. Nice tall spine. Feel that stretch in the trail leg. If I want a deeper stretch, I just take that larger step forward. And you can go heel on the ground if you want to, but I find if that back heel is up, you can push straighter into this position where you're nice and tall and get that stretch in that trail leg hip. All right, and last but not least, we'll do our standing calf. You can use a wall for this. I'm going to use this couch because it's just nicely angled with the screen here. We just take an exaggerated step back and then pump, push that rear heel into the ground. If you're not feeling it, again, slightly larger step. I feel more comfortable actually when I have it a little bit closer to me, and that will really depend on leg length. But I get the most right here. Some people will get the most a little further back. It's all sort of where you carry your tightness. And we'll switch sides. all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. I know a lot of people have been liking the quicker videos, so if you'd like to see that continue, um, don't say anything at all, If or if you can. If you don't want to see it continue, you certainly need to say something, though. All right, I will see you all in the next video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.